Radhe Radhe, today is Saturday, 10th June, 2023. And here we are, almost towards the end of this chapter 7 journey for our Bhagavad Gita study series. Before we get into a summary of the content covered today, let me introduce you to Mummy, who is with us for this recap video as well. Radhe Radhe. With that, we'll bring up the screen and discuss what we covered today. So we finished going through chapter 7 verses 29 and 30 last week. Therefore, we had a usual recap quiz to cover content from those two verses. As always, please do look at the description for this video. And the first link will take you to the JKO community portal page where you can access these slides, recap videos week after week, and all other important reference information. So that was the first few minutes of the class. Following that, we covered, as we always say, or I often say ironically, the introduction to chapter seven. Had a couple of people read that out because the introductions by Swamiji for each chapter in themselves are also summaries of the chapters. So the introduction was read, which was to help summarize all of our learning for chapter seven. Mummy talked briefly about some of the takeaways towards the end of that. And then finally, we plunged into our bigger quiz, the first of two quizzes to recap or review the entire chapter. So for chapter seven, quiz one, covering verses one through 14. So Mummy, I'm going to ask you if there are any questions, maybe one or two max, that particularly were endearing to you or important to stress upon, and we'll take our viewers there. Yeah, thank you, Gagan. And for me, uh, the introduction of the chapter is very important, which Swamiji has given. And based on that, when you had made question number one and two, those two questions interest me the most. So the first question was, what is the Sanskrit title of chapter seven? So the Sanskrit type title of chapter seven is Nyan Vignan Yog. Okay, so Nyan Vignan Yog. What does this mean? Nyan is what we get information and knowledge from reading the scriptures. Now, what is Vignan? Vignan is the one that uh, once we start understanding that knowledge and we start practicing certain spiritual practices and our mind is connected with God, through that, then there is certain wisdom that dawns upon us due to grace of God. That is what is Vignyan. And now, once that wisdom has dawned, that is how we can have yoga with Sri Krishna. So the English translation, yoga through the realization of divine knowledge. In chapter 7, Krishna has given us the secret. He's giving us the secret of divine knowledge. Who is Shri Krishna? What is Shri Krishna? So once we understand that, then but natural, the second question becomes very important that through Bhakti Yoga, through Bhakti Yoga, through different spiritual practices, through Kirtanam, through meditation, when we attach our mind to God, along with full surrender to him because we have understood who Sri Krishna is and we understood that without surrendering to him, we cannot overcome his material energy, Maya, which is behind us all the time. Krishna has made this whole universe like that, that he has this his material energy, Maya, behind us. That is what keeps us attracting us into the worldly players. But if we uh, once we understand through Jnan, who is Sri Krishna, and we understand the divine knowledge, then automatically when we learn to surrender to him through the practice of Bhakti Yoga, that is when we are able to cross over this ocean of Maya easily. So these two, uh, first and second question, interest me the most. Over to you, Gagan. 
Yeah, thank you so much, Mummy. And in fact, I think that's a perfect segue into a question that I'll talk about. Um, I was vacillating between two choices, and there are several other interesting or difficult questions as well that we encourage everyone to go through. But I'm going to take us to question nine, which is why can we not defeat Maya instead of having to overcome it by surrendering to Sri Krishna? And indeed, as you said, surrendering and practices of bhakti yoga and sadhana are extremely important. And again, we have learned this through Swamiji's commentary and in his lectures and videos that if we were to defeat Maya, that would imply defeating God. Maya being, of course, a divine energy of God. So absolutely wrong approach to think about in terms of defeating Maya. It really is about the true direction of surrendering to Sri Krishna, who then, with his own grace, along with our efforts, but with Sri Krishna's grace and blessings, will take us across that ocean, as you said as well, to overcome Maya, his own divine energy, and to be in God's divine realm. So those are just you know, a few questions, a sampling of a few that were, as I said, very endearing to us or really, really important. Several others that we covered today, of course, that again, if you look at the link or the description below and look at the first link, it'll take you to the portal page for relevant slides and information and continue to benefit you in your various pursuits. We shall therefore meet next time to finish up truly chapter seven. So that is going to be quiz two next week, Saturday, 17th, June, 2023. Same time, 8 a.m. Central, 6.30 p.m. India time. And Quiz 2 specifically will cover the remaining verses of Chapter 7. So that is Chapter 7, verses 15 through 30. Please do spend some time the next six or so days studying the various recap videos, studying the verses as Sri Krishna has them, go through the commentaries that Swamiji has provided, go through your notes, and we certainly look forward to another exciting session when we meet next Saturday. Till then, thank you so much. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe.